Well, just before the Today Show went on the air this morning, NBC News Chairman Andy Lack sent a note to the news division announcing Matt Lauer was leaving the company. In the statement, Lack writes, Dear colleagues, on Monday night we received a detailed complaint from a colleague about inappropriate sexual behavior in the workplace by Matt Lauer. It represented, after serious review, a clear violation of our company's standards. As a result, we've decided to terminate his employment. While it is the first complaint of, about his behavior in the over 20 years he's been at NBC News, we were also presented with reason to believe this may not have been an isolated incident. Our highest priority is to create a workplace environment where everyone feels safe and protected and to ensure that any actions that run counter to our core values are met with consequences no matter who the offender. We are deeply saddened by this turn of events, but we will face it together as a news organization and do it in as transparent a manner as we can. Here's how Savannah and Hoda reacted to the news at the top of the show. We just learned this moments ago, just this morning. As I'm sure you can imagine, we are devastated and we are still processing all of this. And I will tell you right now, we do not know more than what I just shared with you. But we will be covering this story as reporters, as journalists. I'm sure we will be learning more details in the hours and days to come. And we promise we will share that with you. Mm -hmm. And Hoda, I mean, you know, for the moment, all we can say is that we are heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for Matt. He is my dear, dear friend and my partner, and he is beloved by many, many people here. And I'm heartbroken for the brave colleague who came forward to tell her story and any other women who have their own stories to tell. Mm -hmm. And we are grappling with a dilemma that so many people have faced these past few weeks. How do you reconcile your love for someone with the revelation that they have behaved badly? Mm -hmm. And I don't know the answer to that. But I do know that this reckoning that so many organizations have been going through is important. It's long overdue. And it must result in workplaces where all women, all people, mm -hmm. feel safe and respected. As painful as it is this moment in our culture and this change had to happen. Yeah, it did. This is a, a very tough morning for both of us. Um, I've known Matt for 15 years, and I've loved him as a friend and as a colleague. And again, just like you were saying, Savannah, it's hard to reconcile what we are hearing with the man who we know, who walks in this uh, building every single day. We were both woken up with the news kind of pre-dawn, and we're trying to process it and trying to make sense of it, and it'll take some time for that. Yeah, we're processing it with all of yeah. you at home. Mm -hmm. And we promise to be transparent and be straightforward will. and continue this important conversation. Absolutely. And there's no real way to do this, but this show has been on the air for more than 65 years, and we're here because of you. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to bring you the news, so we're going to do that. We're going to keep doing it, doing it together, mm -hmm. all of us and the crew and people that love this show. Yep. And so we will go on yes, we with the news. A spokesperson for the company says that the accuser described inappropriate sexual behavior throughout 2014 and because of the seriousness of the accusations, together with information that it may not be an isolated incident, NBC decided to terminate Lauer's contract. Savannah, back to you. All right, Stephanie, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.